gentlemen, welcome to another Loot Crit here on Past Teach of Skin. Today we're looking at Loot Anime and Crunchyroll for the month of November. Well, I think it's November, October, whatever one it is. This one is themed with food. Oh, please tell me there's at least something edible in here. I'm starving. They haven't sent me food in months. I want something to eat. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh. Loot Anime, food themed. As you can see, food. So what's all in here? Okay, well. This one looks like a character. I, what the hell character is this from? Umaru. Okay. So I'm assuming this is actually a little pet house with a figure inside of it. Let's get this thing open. Let's see. <laughs> open up the box and find out what's inside. Let's not tear it open. Let's try to keep it sealed. Uh, 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 there we go. And out you come. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Look at that. That's cute. It's a little thing. Oh, it's a little kind of like panda bear girl thing. It's almost like she's wearing like a bear hoodie to the top of the rest of the body. A little wee tiny body to it as well. Um, I'm assuming this is actually an advertisement for cola of some sort. Because like she's here holding a cola bottle. But she loves cola. Okay. Don't know the show. Don't know the context. Hmm. Moving on. Of course, we can see the labeling on this one. Naruto Shippuden. So, did they just send me... They sent me a round ball. <laughs> so, of course, Loot Crate exclusive. Themed on Loot um, Ramen. Or, sorry, themed on Naruto Shippuden. But, um, yeah. It's a plastic. Plastic ramen ball. And it says do not microwave. So, this is not microwave safe. So, it's probably going to melt if I actually put it into it. But, yeah. I mean, suppose for anybody who isn't into ramen eating and whatever else, that's a... Bowl for, well, cereal, I suppose, more than anything else. All right, well, I like that. That's kind of cute and cool. I'm not too concerned about it being Naruto themed, but um, it makes sense for the character. He's all about his ramen and his noodles. But uh, yeah, I'm not too concerned about that, but that's actually reasonably tasty. All right, tasty done. Next thing, what is this? Oh, right, I remember seeing this logo in the actual characters whenever they're going through... Um, the, the promo stuff for the creative this month, but uh, yeah, it's essentially wrapped in a little blanket, a little bacon blanket, and I'm assuming he's a fried egg, yeah? He's just a wee gelatinous fried egg bit in the center. So uh, not edible, obviously, sadly, he's an R plushie. Plushie toys, uh, never been a big thing here for me. This will be a little gift to somebody as long as it uh, doesn't actually choke them to death in any way, shape or form, and this will probably, I'll probably put this up as a giveaway. A lot of the stuff doesn't feel like uh, stuff that I'll hold on to, so I might actually be doing a giveaway on Instagram right after this. So uh, guys, look forward to that. So look forward to your own little eggy dude. Little egg. Yuki. Alright, what else we got in here? What's this? For costumes only? Oh, yes, I know what this is! I actually know this one. One of my favorite shows, Shogeki no Soma. Alright, we're going out to the wine! Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Loot Crate here on Past Each of Skin. I didn't really see what was going to be of interest in this crate. Uh, so far, it was like the smaller bits didn't seem to be anything I knew. But, um, yeah. I like this. <laughs> See, I threatened. I threatened Loot Crate. I told them. I told them and I threatened. I threatened and I told that if there was one of these in their, um, oh, what? Oh, you have to do it down around the side. <laughs> if there was one of these in their actual crate, I was going to be giving them a lovely little image in my birthday suit. So uh, promises have been made. So uh, yeah, you might want to check that out on the Instagram. Otherwise, you're going to be missing out on the beauty that is me standing butt naked in nothing but this apron. <laughs> if you actually recognize it, it's from uh, Chukeki no Soma or Food Wars. Food Wars has a main character in it that is, um, has a habit, let's just say, of in having to feel the natural, natural breeze of uh, food scents caressing his body. And um, he decides to wear only, <laughs> only this whenever he's actually cooking. Um, well, especially whenever he's at the house. So he's just a natural born nudist. So uh, our naturalist um, character has <laughs> cosplay has been given. This arrived just a little too late for Halloween, folks. Otherwise, this would have been mine for the costume. Oh, well, happy Halloween, folks. If you got one of these, I hope you cosplayed responsibly and didn't get arrested. <laughs> All right, let's take a look to see what's inside the rest of the crate. Okay, what is in here? Sweetness and lightning. Okay. 
I don't know this about manga. I've seen advertisements for this uh, online, or I've seen it on advertisements on Crunchyroll. So, I mean, volume ones. I'm always a fan of getting volume ones of any manga. A lot of people complain about that on the groups and forums I've seen people getting loot anime on. And I can understand why they're not a big fan of it, because seeing the volume one of a book encourages you, one, to buy the rest. Or if you're actually already a fan of the series, you obviously have the first one. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you already own the series that you got the first volume of, it's a sign that you need to give the other volume to somebody else. And then you've got a free pristine copy to have for yourself for your collection. So yeah, let's see what's in the story. Having lost his wife, math teacher Kohei Inazuka is doing his best to raise his young daughter Sumugi as a single father. He's pretty bad at cooking and doesn't have a huge appetite to begin with. But Chance brings his little family and one of his students, Kotori Ilida, together for homemade adventures. With those three cooks in the kitchen, it's a wonder this dinner table drama is so delicious. If you have a hankering for seeing the joy of cooking and eating, then Sweetness and Lightning is there for you. A beautifully drawn story about comfort food and family and grief. It's a delightful read. Yeah. This sounds uh, this, this sounds like a little heartfelt story about food and dinner. I like this. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to look forward to reading that. That's a part of my own personal book club for the rest of the week. I like the artwork style, actually. Um... Yeah, nice little, uh, nice little detail work on it. I'm actually just looking through here. Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen this manga series before, I recommend picking it up just for the art style alone. Uh, you like it. So, yeah, of course, you can probably see this on Crunchyroll. If you want to check it out on the link on the side, you can actually go and, of course, check out Crunchyroll because it's a regular deal with Loot Anime. There, I have uh, giveaways to give. I have free uh, weekend passes to give for Crunchyroll on a regular basis. So if you actually throw a comment underneath or send me a private message on any of the social medias that I have hooked up for this, or give me a shout on the Instagram whenever you try to win one of these prizes and feel miserably, you can at least probably get a Crunchyroll pass. Just give me a shout. You can get 48 hours of access free to premium, which means you get zero advertisements. But uh, of course, Crunchyroll is completely free if you're willing to watch the ads, which you should do. You should watch the ads because that helps support places. Same way you can watch this and watch the ads, unless you're using an ad blocker, in which case you got this for free. So well done to you. Okay, well, after the look, what else have we got inside the crate? Oh, of course. We have our regular Loot Anime Kettle Pandas. Uh, the, uh, hmm. Oh yes, it's still a charm. I was wondering there for a second because I saw just a wee loop in the back, but I didn't see the actual bit that you can plug into your phone as a charm. So yeah, um, it's a sundae with a spoon. I like the tiny spoon. The tiny spoon's actually really adorable. That's the nicest part of it. I, I could see that on somebody's charm bracelet, just a wee spoon hanging down if you're actually a bit of a chef. But yeah, um, I, I've still wanted to make a, like a charm bracelet necklace for the girlfriend that actually has all of these kind of Loot Anime pen, um, doodads together. So that's what I might actually do as a little tiny video, just putting those all into like a single chain and see what it looks like. But yeah, this one's actually quite adorable. It fits, it fits the theme. Um, I like the context of it. So yeah, enjoy the Sunday. And what else have we got in here? Okay, we got, of course, our regular uh, poster. The, the poster that has Luke Chan on it, of course. Who was it that did this one? Oh, they actually have the name of the artist on this one. So, uh, illustration by Little Redo. So, so, this actually doesn't look like the standard artist that we normally have for the Loot Crit or Loot Chan art. So, they must be taking outside commissions for this now, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, of course, check that out. Let's see if I can get a decent image of it. Can you guys see? Okay, because it's like the glint from the light is actually causing the problem of being able to see this really well. But uh, I can, of course, zoom it in. We touch and let you get to see it better. Or I can try and put it down here, and you can probably see a fair portion of it all in one single image. So as I pan it across. So yeah, that one's done by Little Redo, as you can see down here in this corner of the image. So yeah, of course, it has on the back listed everything that we received in the crate, as usual. So what was delicious in this month's crate? It was uh, Food Wars Kuma Bear cosplay apron. Yes, of course, that is of the course, the main character. Well, well not the main character, one of the main characters from uh, for Shugeki no Soma. Uh, Humutu Umaru-chan I Love Cola trading figure. So... What was the light? All right, so the little character, the wee tiny one with the cola box that we saw in the earlier bit, uh, follows her Umaru Doma, a beautiful and perfect high school student, but secret at home she turns into a lazy, gluttonous video game playing blob. Like most of us, we needed this figure for two reasons. First, we are all um <laughs> Umaru chan. Second, Good Smile Company makes amazing figures, and we're very excited to work with them. Oh, that's very nice of them. So the next thing is Guritama Polish. Guritama is everyone's favorite lazy egg. He is a Sanrio character based on an egg and he is very popular in Japan. Guritama's lack of a motivation speaks to the bruncher in all of us. And with his little uh, bacon blanket, he was too yummy to resist adding to his crate. There's a theming in this that gluttony and deliciousness go hand in hand. Fuck you! <laughs> 
Is that something you want the way, point we want to make about food? Is that, you, yeah, enjoy your food. Enjoy your food, you fat fucking blob. <laughs> That's really nice of them. So, uh, delicious foam charm. Nom nom nom, the delicious foam charm represents Yumi's favorite dessert, parfait. This charm looks good enough to eat. Yumi, that's what it is. Yumi Chan. I keep on her. It's, fuck it. It's Lu Chan. She's Lu Chan. Don't care. She's not Yumi. Uh, Naruto Ramen Bowl. Naruto, the particular character of Naruto Shippuden, is a young ninja with the spirit of the nine tailed demon fox sealed inside his body. We all know this. After 10 hundred episodes. But I'm pretty sure we know this. <laughs> so, Sweetness and Lightning Manga, Volume 1. Uh, I've read the back of that so that she can get it. And it says exclusive, so I'm assuming there actually must be something about the cover art or this particular print run that they actually made exclusive to Loot Crate for this particular month. Um, yeah, this has been an interesting little box month. Um, I I'll be keeping this because uh, my girlfriend will like the look of me in this and the rest of you are going to enjoy the hell of it whenever I do it on Instagram. And of course, I'm going to enjoy the manga, but the little figures, let's see. Where are, where's our little poke loving Chan here? This one and this one are going to be going up as little giveaways on Instagram really, really soon. So I hope you guys actually take part. See if you can get yourself a free little figure. Of course, uh, you can get all these objects if you go and order from Loot Archive, which is uh, the back catalog of Loot Crate stuff that they have available now because Obviously, they're not selling out on all of their crates anymore. Now, you have to get rid of the extra stock somehow. So, uh, I'm sure you can get a discounted deal on them there. And if you feel like it, of course, get in touch because you'll be able to check out Crunchyroll through one of the links underneath. You can, of course, sign up as an... Well, you can sign up under my account to actually get me free access to it for a while. And I've always been meaning to kind of go around and do some anime reviews for the content that I watch regularly. Shows like Shogeki no Soma and the recipes that are contained within and a bunch of other stuff. But um, I, I don't know, it's, uh, because I'm kind of trying to figure out what content works well here, tell me, tell me what it is you would like to see. Would you like to see more stuff from Loot Anime, uh, not specifically Loot Anime, more stuff from Crunchyroll here on the channel and actually discussed and looking at them? Kind of like the way uh, Silver Eye Patch Wolf or Digibro do looking at the detailed kind of characterization, the animation, the sound and design of a lot of the regular shows that come out every single year. So yeah, uh, that's all there is for Loot Anime of this month. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. If you want to check out any more information about me, you can check them out on the side here. There'll be videos and links to all the things that are available. Of course, you can check out my Patreon. You can check out my uh, other videos on this channel. You can, of course, subscribe to this channel if this is our first video here on Pastiche of Skin. Feel free to come back anytime, and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.